it or not, everyone, we have just a few days left in this month, one week exactly, and then things will move quickly. And before you know it, we are full on into the holiday season. So what better time than now to National Yoga Month to learn how to keep calm and relaxed, whether you've never stepped onto a yoga mat before or you enjoy yoga with goats or puppies. It's practically Quite something everyone can do at some level. So we've been watching all hour long the team from Yoga 6 Chicago. They're joined now by our Jamaica Ponder to learn a bit more about yoga and potentially Jamaica do some practicing. We are most certainly going to get to some practicing, but we're saving that for the end because we got to talk a little bit about who we have with us this morning. Gwen, she's the general manager of Yoga 6 Southport. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning, Jamaica. So I'm really curious to know what Yoga 6 is doing to celebrate National Yoga Mouth. Oh my gosh. So Yoga 6s all across the country are celebrating National Yoga Month. We've got fun challenges going on in the studio. We've got bingo. We've got retail sales. We've got all types of things going on on top of our normal yeah. great class schedule. And what's cool about Yoga 6 is you don't have to be a refined yogi to do well in the studio, right? Yeah, no. We're definitely a studio that meets people wherever they're at. Yoga 6 is designed to be accessible to every level of yogi. That's awesome. Okay, so I want to make sure we get a couple of moves in. So first, can you kind of describe to me what we're going to do? And I know it makes an appearance in almost every yoga class. So yes. tell me about it. So that is the high to low vinyasa flow. The high to low vinyasa high flow. Low vinyasa flow. I really love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is a transition for a lot of different sequences. So if you go from being on your feet to moving to the ground, most often you're going to do that through this flow that we're about to show you on okay, TV. Let's get right into it. Okay. So we start low. So we start low. Yeah. So we're going to start in a high plank. Okay. So um, both hands directly under my shoulders or like a little forward? Both hands directly under your shoulders and okay. keep your spine in line. So keep your gaze down toward the mat and then on an inhale shift forward just a few inches. Bend your elbows and on your exhale, press up through your hands for an up dog or a high cobra. Exhale, roll over your toes and press your hips up to the sky for a downward facing dog. Okay, and I am feeling the stretch. That <laughs> is the high to love and yasa flow. There are some classes you take at the studio where it makes an appearance maybe four times and some classes where it makes an appearance maybe 14 times. Well, it's fun, it gets you loose, and quite frankly, I could probably use a little bit more of that high to low flow in my life. So. Yeah, we'd love to have you come by. Thanks for getting me active this morning, Gwen. I appreciate it. Of course.